for this tracking shot of the missile coming down and hitting the house, we want to track this the most simplest way using Mocha. It's a fairly simple shot. We've got a lot of nice texture in the sky from the clouds. We've also got the house and the trees, and it's a simple camera move. The camera is just panning. We can see that it's basically in one position. There might be a little bit of movement in Z depth, but not enough to affect our track. So we're gonna do a nice planar track, and we could do a simple track where we track the surface and then pasted it into After Effects, but we've already got tutorials on that, so I'm gonna show you a more efficient way of doing this shot if we wanted to add things coming in from different directions or we wanted to avoid having to track things to the house and the sky separately. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solve for a camera, a 3D camera here in Mocha Pro. This will only work in Mocha Pro, but it's very simple. So all I'm gonna do actually, because it is such a simple shot, is take this spline and draw a square around the center. I'm not gonna draw it around the entire frame because there tends to be a little bit more distortion on the outside. And so I'm just gonna draw it around the center of this frame here. And I'm going to click here on view layer properties, and I'm going to take this track and unlink it. So it's still capturing tracking data, but it's not going to move along with our shot because our shot pans so much and we don't even see this part of the sky in the rest of our shot. I, I don't want to have to keyframe it and move it myself. I would rather just have it stay there and capture tracking data without its actual tracking area being affected by the tracking data. So I've unlinked that and I'm going to exit out of that. And so you can still see that it actually is in fact tracking. I'm going to just click on this and this is going to represent our tracking data. Now I'm going to return to the default view because this got thrown off somehow. And I'm going to turn on perspective. So make sure that we have perspective turned on. It's very important that you do that. Otherwise you won't get an accurate camera solve. I'm gonna go ahead and just track backwards here. And now I'm gonna return here and track forwards. So we've had this tra shot tracked all the way through and even though our tracking area of interest has stayed the same, we can see from this grid in the background that it is, has in fact tracked onto our shot. And now I can go here to the camera solve and set this to pan, tilt, zoom and click on solve. So we can see here that it's solved with a 35% solve quality, which isn't the best, but it'll work. So we're gonna go ahead and click copy to clipboard and move into After Effects. We have our house explodes shot in here. We're gonna drag into a new composition. Simply hit Edit Paste Mocha Camera if you don't have this option here. Make sure you go to the Mocha website and download the free plugin for After Effects. And there we have it. We can play through this, see that those null objects are sticking on. The shot has been tracked. If we wanted to shoot a missile coming down, we could just drag it here. We want to make all of our layers 3D and then we can parent them to our other ones so that they are visible in the same space. We can select our path. And draw And so very simply there we have this meteor that comes down and smashes into the house. And we tracked that very easily. So that's how we track this th camera move in a matter of minutes using the camera solve method in Mocha Pro.